after reading and see what comes up um, with uh, my easy breezy voting idea. Can this work? And the easy breezy voting is, you know, you have mailboxes where you can go drop off your mail you know, around the city. I haven't seen many of those like they used to have. Now, they used to have them everywhere. Now you just, you know, mail it from your home. Well, get the boxes out again, put them out where they're easily seen, um, paint them red, white, and blue for your voting uh, ballots. You can fill out your ballots at home you drive by, put it in the box. We have people that come and pick them up, uh, you know, however many times a day you think they need to be picked up and take them to the election to uh, office to be counted, okay? So I think this is a way to keep people safe, give time for everyone to vote and not have to use the postal service, which is, you know, going to attempt to railroad it, okay? So what can we know about this? Okay, first part out is knowingness. Knowingness. And let's see what we have on this. Easy breezy voting method. Yeah, you can uh, send the, the ballots out, you know, a week ahead of time. You've got plenty of time to fill it out, drop it off, and be safe, okay? And not uh, clog up the uh, postal service, okay? So the only ones that would be going through the regular postal service would be absentee ballots. Okay. Okay. So we need to have those that are willing to work together to make this happen. Okay. The challenge is, you know, the argument from the right. Um, <laughs> that want to skew the elections, okay? There will be those, you know, the anarchists, the uh, ones that uh, would say it's unfair um, because they want to try to skew the elections. So what could be seen with this? Potentials, say we can look at the potential for this easy breezy voting red white and blue okay i think it can work after all they got all those old posts in fact they should still have a bunch of those old post office boxes that they used to put on the corner okay Potentials, okay, we have the potentials for, you know, uh, the tower blowing up. The challenge is to get to safer waters. So we know that the election system is now um, we have the tangerine tyrant doing all he can to um, blow up the system you know they're saying vote by mail okay um so we've got him trying to slow down the whole thing so let's see what we could say about the thing fear okay well yeah we always have the fear mongers out there fear mongering
the deep state conspiracy theorists would come out of the woodwork. Okay. Yeah, fear. Okay. <laughs> Why is this not surprising? Okay. The, the tangerine tyrant would come out against this, you know, uh, and want to put it to rest. The challenge is for him trying to uh, derail it, railroad it, okay? But I don't think that he can do that. I think you have to have maybe the House or the Senate or something, so... But yeah, this would cause a lot of fear on the right, okay? Especially in the Tangerine Tyrant. So let's look at the heart of this. What's the heart of this? Easy breezy vote isness, okay? It is what it is, okay? Yeah, I could see where it's got the potential the minute it came out and it's something that uh, the Tangerine Tyrant can't uh, manipulate. He blow a gasket. Isn't this? Okay, the heart of it, you know, is not to see, not to take on, um, how do I want to say it? Um, You know that it's fair, it's equal. That it's fair and it's equal. Not one over the other. Okay. Challenges to get people on board to go with it. Okay. So it's not taking in one over the other as far as side. Um, this is what it is. This is not... Uh, favoring one side versus the other. It's to give equal voting rights to all in a way that it could go forward, okay, uh, where everybody is safe. You fill out your ballot, you wear your mask, you go in your car, you drive by, drop it off, and, and you're good, okay? So what can be done on this? Okay, we see the illusion okay so this could be again you know that this is something different i don't know um and of course we would have the trumpian thing trying to um tie it up, okay, the challenges, all the fantasy notions of drama, okay, that they would want to put out against it, okay, how does this feel overall when it comes to being able to put this into practice, how does this feel? Earth galaxy, okay. So grounded and expansive, grounded and expansive. It could be grounded and expansive. It could be a way that could work. Yeah, balanced. This is a balanced way that it can be done challenges, you know, the one trying to hold on to power through nefarious means. Okay. So last one is what it is. What is this? Awakening. It's a doorway. It's a doorway awakening. 
a new way to do it. So, well, let me get these last two cards. Awakening. Oop. Oop. What's jumped out at me? Okay. <laughs> this one just jumped out. Okay. This would be, have to be a, a battle to, to get this changed. The challenge is um, some of the radical ones want, wanting to hang it up. Okay. So it couldn't go. So what we see in this, this is challenging something new. There are those that want to push back in fear and trying to manipulate the situation like they've been able to manipulate it so many times before. This is a new way. It could work. Okay. Um, again, we've got the we've got to get um, knowingness talking about it, get, getting people on board to talk about it, to face the criticisms, which of course we'll get from the, uh, some of the uh, Republican, some of the really uh, ones that want to railroad things. The potential, okay, is that we have, again, Repugly uglies wanting to blow it up. It's not going to work. Oh my God, you know, the challenge is to get from choppy waters to safe. Okay. What they say, you know, Trump's going to come out and the deep state conspiracy theorists will come out against it and want to, you know, down that, down that idea. They would want to down that idea because it's too hard to manipulate. Okay. So the heart of the matter is, is we want it fair for everyone. Okay. Not one over the other. Okay. Not seen, not done to manipulate. And the challenge is to get all the other people on board with it. What would be done would, of course, come out the conspiracy theorists wanting to <laughs> uh, downplay it, put a deep state conspiracy and try to tie it up. Again, uh, challenges all the deep state conspiracy, anarchy, all of that drama of ones that want to try to control. It feels like this is grounded and expansive. It's a balanced way to do things. Okay. Challenges those that want to try to remain in power. And bottom line, what it is, it's a way of awakening, a new doorway, okay? It's something we'd have to battle for, okay? We'll have to stand up to get it done. Challenges, they'll want to hang it up. And again, try to see from a different perspective of deep state conspiracy and all the other drama that they come up with to try to railroad it, okay? So from that reading, you know, call me crazy, but it looks like it's a good system because it definitely puts fear <laughs> in the tangerine tyrant and those that are, um, will say anything, do anything to skew an election. And this is not so easy to be skewed or manipulated, okay? This method would not be easy to manipulate, okay? And we know the Repugly Uglies are all about gerrymandering, doing everything they can to have an unfair advantage. This would take a lot of that away, okay? You wouldn't have to worry about getting off work to go vote. You'd have time 
it's safe, much safer than standing in a line. You're not depending on a postal service where he's going to try to manipulate it and slow it down. Okay. And it could be funded by the population that wants to see voting change to something more reliable, more efficient, um, that's safe. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here. Uh, I am not unhappy with that reading, you know. If it's something good, you know that there will be a backlash on those who want to try to continue to manipulate things along the way. And this is not so easily manipulated. So I'm going to leave this here. Love and light to everyone. Please be safe out there. What, Mr. Max? Really? I don't think you need one every day. I really don't. Mr. Max is giving me that look like it's a puppuccino time, Mama. It really is time to go ride the car, get a puppuccino. Yeah. I don't I don't think so. <laughs> You're going to sit on my lap until I take you? Uh-huh. I see how you are. I swear he's getting hooked on puppuccinos. The minute I go through Starbucks line, he's at the window looking like, where's mine? Okay. Where's my? I'm waiting. Where's mine? <laughs> he's bad. I'm telling you, he's bad. Come on, Mr. Max. <laughs> <laughs>